All right, what's up guys? So today in the video, I'm gonna be showing you how to check and regrease your bearing and also check your brakes on your dump trailer or your utility trailer. This typical one has eight lugs. As you can see, I already took the wheel off. This one needs a new cap. Because the old one, I lost it a couple weeks ago. So I need to go buy a new one today. That's important. I'm gonna go take this off. First, you gotta remove this piece, the little cap. So we can get to the bolt. I'm gonna show you how to do it now. All right, you can try with the rubber mallet or with the regular hammer. Tap it a little bit. Oh, as you can see, this one is pretty bad. The grease is kind of burned out, that's why it's like pink. I did it on the other wheel and it's red. The next thing you gotta clean all this stuff off. And you get this little like a clip but you gotta just pry it off you got like a wreck or something to put all your things over here there you go next thing it's the nut so this one then you gotta hold the bearing like this pull this around and the bearing will fall out we're gonna clean all this stuff up nicely and we're gonna regrease it. And then you can remove your drum. Oh boy, this one is no good. That looks like we have a bad seal. Or we went to Virginia a couple weeks ago and I hit all the mountains. So that's why this thing is not stepping so much. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you can have grease over here. There's a back seal right here. It really got hot and it probably pushed the grease out. That's why we got grease everywhere. That's why this thing not stopping. Right, I clean all this stuff off. I regrease everything. Right, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of dirt. Oh, well, this will rust, but it's definitely not good for stopping. All this stuff's gotta be clean. Might have to use some brake cleaner if anything. First, I'm gonna wipe off the big chunks and then probably get some pen and breaking all the stuff off or gasoline first just get all the gooey stuff off all the way that's a lot of grease the seat doesn't look bad i think we're just when you overheat your brakes when it gets so hot it just pushes grease everywhere look at all this stuff jeez Yourself. It's a lot of grease, look. Oof. Messy, but that's why this wheel wasn't really stopping. And I'll show you once we get all the clean back. All right, now that we got everything mostly cleaned, I'm gonna just clean the bearing from all the bearing grease. I'm gonna spray some starting fluid over this so I can just rinse it off. Make sure to get non-chlorinated brake parts. This one evaporates quickly and everything is kind of like dry now. See it? That's the one you want to make. All right. Now that we got this all 
cleaned out. Now I'm going to put right here, there's an adjustment for your drums. Right there. Turn this knot and it brings these shoes apart. It's pretty easy. You try first, maybe like two or three turns or half turns. And you have to put this on to see how it feels. You don't want it to be too tight, you know? To było całe zagisowane, nie wiem czy jest zjebany, zobaczę czy jest... Um... No w cieniu też się opalam Nie, nie opalam się. Off the inside, and there's quite a bit of lot. We're gonna put fresh grease. This one is all burned out. Ooh. adjustment anyway. You don't want it to catch it right away. Inspect the bearing, see if there's any loose. Looks pretty good. Pump a lot of it in there. Just so the bag doesn't go completely dry. Yeah. 
water. Washer. Then we put a nut. And I'll show you. You don't want to tie this too hard because we'll overheat the bearing. And then you want it to be too loose. So you usually go like half snug. You want to make sure it's nice and tight, but it doesn't have any play. So just the really snug. Let me put this back on. The safety clip. And now we can put this back on by itself and then we can fill this with grease. Look at the grease. Here is a different color, it doesn't matter. This one is synthetic, the other one is also synthetic, just different color. Grease is grease. Let me put this on. Rubber mallet. Where's the rubber mallet? Right there. Opa. Now we can put more grease there into the grease. Pumping until it comes out. Good, there you go. One wheel is done. Right. Then you check it after you put the wheel into the same thing, try to move around, see. But this is pretty nice. Remember, do not over tie the, the nut. Questions? Simply ask me.